So in the graphics setting, there's full screen, and then there's exclusive full screen. Okay, now I don't know what exclusive full screen is. That's never heard of that term. It's never been a thing in any game that I'm aware of. But apparently if you turn off the exclusive full screen and just full screen, it won't play. <laughs> it's so stupid. That's such a dumb reason for that for it not to like work. We just spent 20 minutes on that. Figuring that out. That's so dumb. Oh, damn. Well, we're still right back to where we were at before. Well, that sucks. On the plus side, the game looks a lot better now. It's good. That's part of the wreckage. Jonah! Yeah, because we've already seen this. I forgot how to do this now. Oh, it was the tree. It was the tree. That's right. Hmm. I just want to double check. Because last time we were here... We looted this. Still looted. Good. Oh, this can only go well. It's probably not even- well, there's a fire actually, right? Nice, our axe! Jonah! It's okay! I knew he was gonna be alright. <laughs> I thought I got you killed. Hey, do you know what happened to Miguel? Ah, uh, he didn't make it. Yeah. What's wrong with your arm? Uh, some sort of parasite. I was looking for some warm wood, but yeah. it doesn't grow around here. Let me see. <laughs> what are you doing? If we leave it in there, it'll only get worse. Sit. Oh, we're just gonna cut that out of him? Oh, damn. Uh, you sure you know what you're doing? Uh, <laughs> I had something similar happen to me when I was a child in Egypt. I won't lie, it's gonna hurt. You think that storm from earlier was the storm? The one from the mural? I don't know. <sighs> Ow. I think maybe we should... Stop and take stock. We've been pushing so hard forward, <laughs> flying into that storm. I didn't think it was going to be that bad. I... Well, I should have insisted we turn back. I mean, I get it. You lock onto a problem and everything else just disappears. <laughs> Jonah? I, I, I'm with you. It's 
my choice most of the time. But if we die, who stops the cataclysms? Who keeps Trinity from doing what they want? Sometimes I feel like I have to keep going, and if I don't, then I'll just let everyone down. But maybe for the sake of a few hours, we could have turned back. Oh, that was in your arm? Maybe we should give him a name. Okay. Eli? No, my cousin. He's always trying to get under my skin. <laughs> Goodbye, Eli. Thanks. We should go. If we can find Kawakyaku, we can rest for the night. Sounds good. I feel like the anti-aliasing made things worse. <laughs> uh, is it just me? Turn it off. I think we can see the village through the vines over there. I'm glad you stayed at the crash site. Well, if you were out there, I wanted to be able to find you. At a flare gun. So. Yeah, I think Miguel was heading toward it when... Poor guy. Yeah, poor How'd Miguel. How'd you manage to get Eli in your arm anyway? Uh, I was trying to figure out if the water was clean. Got my answer. <laughs> it's such a relief to have Jonah back, especially after Miguel. At least Jonah didn't ask what happened. The Jaguars. I don't want him to worry. We have to stay sharp if we're gonna get ahead of Trinity. Fired. Fire. We can't upgrade that. Could upgrade this though. Frost beat. Good idea. Cloth and fur. Oh, we need wood. Do more damage. That sounds good to me. Uh, what about here? Need a lot of things. Ooh. Any more water around here? Mm-hmm. Oh, look at that. That's an interesting thing to find. Uh, what else do we need now? Well, let's upgrade our damage real quick. Oh, shoot, we're still short. I thought that was going to be enough. Okay. Now ah, we should definitely have enough. And we got a level. Uh, play second enemy during a stealth takedown to perform a chain take. I have a feeling that's going to be good because that sounds like the Assassin's Creed version of. Uh, uh, the Assassin's Creed version of that that double double takedown. That's kind of what that sounds like to me. Okay, part of large animal while he's struggling to me. Enemies, resources, and objects on with the jungle difficulty. I don't know. I don't remember the name of our difficulty, but we're playing the second time. I don't know if that includes us. <laughs> but I kind of want my resources to be known, so I can find them. 
Uh, that's also not a bad idea. Okay, we gotta hold off. We only got one skill point. Right now, I think the, the name of the game is to get as many resources as possible, upgrade, and make our stuff stronger. So it looks like we maxed out the damage on this bow already. Good. Hmm. I want to, but can I get back up here? I don't even know. Oh yeah, that's where we were at. Oh. An alligator corpse? Yeesh. Wonder what was in here. Oh. What's that? Rival cash. Okay, let's uh, get that. So, think further up. Uh, Cloth, cool. <clears throat> Is it in the water? Oh, it's not in the water, it's right there. Now to check out what's in the other cave right here. This is probably like another secret tomb thing. Hmm. Yeah, I figure.
No one's been through here in years. Ooh, what do we got here? May Remax be the first voice we hear in the afterlife, and may her stories comfort us. So I'm guessing we're in Remax's crypt. This is crypt. Nice, we got this a level skull one. is deformed, flatter and longer than what we consider normal. Some people believe this is evidence the Inca were contacted by extraterrestrials, but it's more likely the result of hair binding, a human practice of deformation so ancient it predates written history. Hmm. It also has evidence of trepanation, a medical procedure in which a hole is carved in the skull. Oh. God, tribal stuff is just freaking creepy sometimes. Monoliths un unlocked. Huh. So same concept as the second game where you find artifacts, read murals, increase your language, but you can read monoliths which will probably take you to secrets like coin caches. At least that's what it was in the first game, the second game. I think this is the way out. Cool, but we weren't trying to see. And here I thought this would be simple. Nice. <laughs> They're gonna make me climb for it. One way to protect the crypt, I guess? Oh god! <laughs> that almost got me. I should be able to reach the sarcophagus now. Shit, I'll have to keep climbing. Oh, really? That's just me. Voila! Now what do you got for me? Hmm. Cape. Huh. Right. 
think that's the quick way down, so what's this? Is this another secret? The heathen emperor begged for his life to be spared. He offered the Spanish crown a room of three by six varas to be filled once over with gold and twice with silver. The crown, with great and undue benevolence, accepted this offer. Within two months, the ransom had been paid. The idolater, however, could not be trusted. When the cursed plans of his general surprise attack were exposed, Atawalpa fell to his knees, begging for mercy. His fate would be decided by fair trial, as the right of any man in the Spanish Empire. He was found guilty and sentenced to die, but before the execution he accepted the Lord and will be welcomed in the heavens above. Excerpt from an objective account of Pozarro in Peru, by Ochoa Aceves. Mm. Okay. Uh... All right, whatever. Get out of here. We got the cape. Kind of curious to see uh, what it's gonna take to craft that. And what bonus? Is gonna be left me when Dominguez took the key. If it's that strong, how can you be sure? Let's just find the Kwakiakum, okay? Okay. <laughs> you know, if it was about revenge, I'd understand. <laughs> Would you, though? Wouldn't you rather be somewhere warm and dry with a beer, maybe a friendly stranger to flirt with? <laughs> yeah, I would. Like, you can't imagine. But I'd still understand. It's not revenge. Hmm. Well, I'm interested. Ah. Means we gotta do some hunting. See any animals. We need to kill them. <laughs> we need some hides. Yeah, we really need some hides because I think that gives us enough to make something. Let's go on, Jonah. We can get through here. Give me a hand. Man. Lara can lift, man. <laughs> I told him that alone while he crawled under. You see that? It must be Kwak Yaku. We have to get down there. Oh. Oh yeah, I love you sure bridges. This is a path. Come on, <laughs> stay close to me. This is definitely not a path. He's a big dude, man. You want him to go on this? Oh god. <sighs> oh. Oh. See? Almost there. Almost there. Heard that before. Yeah. 
I'm right there with you, Jonah. This is stupid. <laughs> oh God! You right? I'm okay. Just a couple more steps. Okay. Okay. You're all right. I, I, I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> Laura has no fear. <laughs> What do you think built all this? It could have been the Inca. They knew a lot about hydraulics. Hmm. The bridge is down. Maybe we can lift it with those counterweights. This depicts the Incan god Kom. He was the son of Inti, the sun god, and Pachamama, the moon goddess. Kon was in charge of the wind and the rain. Although, in some legends, he was only in charge of the weather that came from the south while his brother, Pachacamac, was in charge of weather that came from the north. Hmm. Maybe. Mm. I hope that this structure is here because we're on our way to that village. What do we too. got here? This describes something nearby. Two serpents guard life and death. I lie trapped within their eternal struggle. Uh Huh. I don't see anything on my map. Oh. Am I supposed to figure out the riddle myself? I bet this water is drinkable. <laughs> you want to try it? Uh, I think I'll stick with the bottle in front of the car. Oh, look, there's a serpent there. Should be ah. Nice. Well, that's cool. That's a cool way to do the monolith thing. You know, if I had known how much time I'd spend in the wilderness, I'd, I'd have paid more attention in Boy Scouts. <laughs> Wasn't your thing? Well, my family situation meant we didn't get to do a lot of stuff like that. That's a cool way to do the monolith thing. Not like they did in the second game where it was like, oh yeah, there's a bunch of caches. Oh, you found maps. Cool, that reveals the secret here. Like, you just go fetch me stuff in the second game. That actually adds a little mm, something to it. Does boarding school count? <laughs> I don't know. Does it? <laughs> Probably not. But Roth showed me some things. I always preferred the company of adults anyway. <sighs> yeah. I miss that guy. Me too. Yeah. F for respects for Brother Roth. <laughs> Big Daddy Roth from the first game. Went out like a champ. Okay. With Eli gone, your arm should heal quickly. Yeah. You feel a lot better already. Did I do anything? Mm. No, I didn't think so. So, it all goes back to this. It's too heavy. Give me a hand. Yeah, show me that muscle, Jonah. Give me. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Let's let it go slowly. Oh, okay. I, I. We need to fill that bucket with water. Powers the bridge somehow. You don't say. Help me with this. The water's filling the bucket. Good. Let's see what those counterweights do. Something I'm missing here. 
So that's gonna go down. I think I understand. I think I just understood. Hold on. Let's do that one more time, Jonah. Girl, boy, you gotta go hit the gym more. <laughs> you be able to hold that forever. <laughs> Okay, Jonah, you can let go. That's it. Let's get across. Hmm. Before we do, I did see something here. Isn't this climbing ledge? It is. Where does this go? Huh. Well then. Goes nowhere. Cool. <laughs> Guess we go through here. After you. What's that? I think it's some sort of stealer or... Help me with this. Sure. What is it? It's a recipe. Seems to be a mixture of herbs. Oh, we found the new recipe. <laughs> Could help if we run into any more jaguars. <laughs> Let's hope we don't. Way out is over here. Well, that's interesting. Herbal mixture. Okay. How is that different? Ah. It's okay, so it's like a concoction that lets us see things, but for how long? Kinda cool. Good for hunting and stuff, I guess. We're getting closer to the village. I can't wait to get back to civilization. Ah, I see. Just for a few seconds. Kind of cool. Yeah, these are different from the ruins in Mexico. Did your dad's notebook say anything about Peru? No. I mean, there is supposed to be a secret city of gold in Peru. Paititi. Every treasure hunter on Earth is looking for it. But dad's notes stop in Mexico. Like he lost interest or... Or... I don't know. The next volume picks up in Syria. Hmm. Uh, passageway. That's promising. Pistol part. Remind me how the riddle goes again. Chase the heart of the serpent. To the silver-crowned mountain where the twins confer. Hmm. Before I do that. How far do you think it is to Kwak Yaku? Assuming we're going the right way. Mm, uh, I think say. I'd rather save up but for this But the irrigation stuff. system is a good sign. Right. People were here at some point. Let's just hope they still are. Yeah, I think I'm gonna save up for the boots. <sighs> I 
think we can get out that way. Hmm, so this is the right way to go. You know me, I need to explore. here these two gods are the rulers of the Maya underworld Shabalba literally the place of fright Vukov Kakwish whose name means seven McCall was a monstrous bird who is said to carry the false sun in his beak his subordinate was Hun Kame which means one death they are both defeated and killed by the hero twins after challenging them to various sports and games in which both sides cheated. Vukub Kakwish lost his game of darts when the hero twins used blowpipes. Hmm. Interesting. Little Mayan lore. Or mythology, I should say, not lore. I found something. There might be a way in. It's not civilization. I'll wait here by the fire. Oh, Laura. <laughs> Aren't you a ra rock scrambling good you got? <laughs> Jeez, okay. I wonder if I could even do this because I don't really have a lot of my gear yet. Oh, it's a reflection. Uh, I thought that was water. <laughs> I swear to God, I thought I was looking at like a stream. I didn't realize that that was like fog. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> Upon closer inspection, you can tell I'm a dummy. <laughs> uh, uh. Okay. Guess we're doing that. See if I could jump up there, but apparently not. Try not to put that. cash okay question is ah how do we get across the answer is here 
This gear is early 20th century. Uh, are we acknowledging the fact that the villagers were wiped out? Are those arrows? Uh, it might just be a graphical thing. Those arrows don't really look that old. That starch shirt Forset may be getting all the attention, but I know his time is almost up. The world will remember the Timothy Walker as the man who finally found the lost city of El Dorado. Oh. We've set up camp in a canyon. It was a grueling journey to get this far. We'll rest here a few days, get our bearings. Some of the men need patching up, and I wouldn't mind one good night's sleep. The men say something came through the camp last night. The jungle is getting to them. I keep telling them that we're close and we need to keep it together. One of the scouts has found a temple of some kind up ahead. We'll start construction of bridges and ladders this morning and head out from camp this afternoon. Hmm. So these are planes the hat. I was actually wondering about that. These were like explorers looking for the lost city of El Dorado. Go further up ahead. Supply cash. Hmm. Ah. go. That's not cool. Uh, huh. Whatever killed those explorers might still be around. Let me make a note of that. I think I want the boots, gain additional plants, and minerals crafting resources. Three trees. That sounds pretty good. Oh, styling! Look at that. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, I, could, I could mess with that. Oh, uh, can we still... We only got one point. Oh no, we got two. We got two, so we could do with the thing I want to do, which is this. Hmm. Yeah, I think we want that. Oh, hold on, we already got that. Huh. Well, that's cool. 
So the next thing I want to get is Uh Hmm. That could be good. Yeah, that could be good. Getting all resource gathering stuff. Because that'll make it easier for us to upgrade all our gear. Making our gear more powerful and making the difficulty a little bit easier for us. I think. That's that's kind of my mentality in this. Someone there. I think there is someone here. dealing with here. What's the new secret? That? <sighs> what an incredible sight. That is pretty awesome. <laughs> really cool looking. go. Uh, missing one of these. Oh, is that gold? Give me that gold. <laughs> what? Alright. Uh, I guess we got to jump that way. Oh my god. You like hit that little bush over there and it completely made her change direction. That was close. <laughs> that was way too close. Exit, to be honest. Might be the way out. This is how I exit the tomb. Oh. here.
Ah, I didn't see this. Throw your grappling axe with E while jumping to swing across. Okay. Woo, okay, that's cool. <laughs> we still have that from the second game. A little bit more funkier, I want to say, so scarier. Black powder. Damn this place. Damn this forsaken jungle. It holds a jewel just out of reach and then sweeps your legs out from under you. We've almost made it across that bottomless pit. Some kind of altar beckons from the other side, under a giant stone face that seems to mock our efforts. Something attacked the camp. Some men claimed it was panthers, others said something more sinister. Half the crew insist on abandoning the expedition. I had to dress one man down, made an example of him. All I need is one more day, one more lousy day. Hmm. Okay. Also, a really good way of getting more loot crafting, or more resources, I should say. Visitor. Do. Hmm. I feel like that's going to come into play with this thing. So. They must have abandoned this place in the middle of building it. Just go further. speeding up. <laughs> Maybe? That should hold. A hold what? <laughs> Hmm. I'm 
you're probably gonna die right now. See if this does anything. I don't think it will. Am I supposed to use that like an elevator? the rope like slow it down? Is that what was happening? Okay. I think I kinda got it. Let's see. This is supposed to give me enough time to get on top of it. Made it. Yeah, that's what it did. It slowed it down. So that I can get on here. That's terrifying. Something was just up here and just scurried off. Hmm. Very little scamp. <laughs> Gonna throw more boulders at me? one of the lords of death lies the gate to Shabalba, where all must travel when transitioning from this life to the next. Hmm. Shabalba. I like the way that sounds. <laughs> that. Oh. All right. Oh my god. I literally held my breath there. I thought I was dead. <laughs> oh, you're a jerk. Jump! Oh, god damn it. Oh. <laughs> Try this again. Little bastard. Oh, when I get to you, I'm gonna put so many arrows through your face. <laughs> mm 
Oh, is this another recipe thing? Oh, look at that. Now to find my way out. Eagle's perch. Increased climbing skill for first thing in the that. The environment with more speed. Cool. We can climb faster. 